what's up YouTube? It's Scotty with Evil Castriegel. It's another cold day and we are in the messy shop and I'm putting another part on the gravel bike. Um, so I've been riding the gravel bike a lot more here recently just because the weather has been absolute uh, here in the Ohio Valley where I live and uh, mountain bike trails are just too wet for the most part. So I've been kind of cranking out miles on uh, some uh, rough paved paths and with that uh, the gooch has been taking a pounding. So I wanted to soften up the ride a little bit um, and I figured I'd try out, you know me, I like budget stuff. So I figured I'd try out this uh, Satori Beatbox. Stop beating up my box. It's kind of gross. Uh, odd name, but uh, we will see uh, how this product is. Uh, so I will get it on the bike here and then uh, I'll tell you how it feels I know it does say a max rider weight on this thing up at 180 and I'm about 205 so uh, we'll see how it feels uh, and if it actually works at all but um, it looks really similar to seat posts that uh, cost at least twice as much as this thing I think I got it for 50 bucks so we'll see how it works All right, so here's a close-up shot of the seat post. As you can see here, it's just got like this rubber, uh, I guess, spacer in between here um, that just kind of acts like a, a little bit of a shock absorber. It just lets the seat uh, kind of go back and forth. It says it has uh, 17 to 18 millimeters of travel this way, so almost 20 millimeters. Um, I just rode it around. The neighborhood and kind of popped up over some kind of rough ledges and stuff and i feel like it does do a little bit again i'm about 15 pounds over the weight limit of this thing and you don't i can't find any uh different dampers that you can put in here like different weight um like some of the other brands that you could buy so that is one downside to uh the seat post but it weighs less than a pound and it was 50 bucks and uh i can say just the little bit I've ridden it around it does feel like it dampens a little bit of the rough chatter to your gooch so good stuff oh and another thing I like is the way that you adjust the saddle it's got this little knob in here and then just one six mil uh, hex head over on this side uh, super easy to adjust so really easy to get the saddle on I like that feature I like the price uh, and I think if you just want something that's going to do just a little bit of dampening to help you on some of those like rough cracks, if you're riding kind of more rough pavement or, or gravel roads, it's not going to give you the full plushness of like a $200 suspension saddle or seat post, uh, but it does work pretty good for 50 bucks. So I'm happy. I'm going to run this thing uh, and uh, maybe I'll do a little long-term review uh, once we ride it a little bit more. Um, but yeah. Not a very exciting video. I'm hoping that the weather turns around and I can ride some of this stuff that you see behind me in the shop. Uh, got a new Subaru Outback on the way and I'll be able to haul my dirt bikes again. I've been without an SUV for about three months uh, just waiting for this thing to show up. We ordered it a long time ago. One of the reasons I haven't been riding dirt bikes and stuff as much is it's just not as easy for me to haul. I can throw a mountain bike on the top of the car. So. But we are going to be getting back to that very soon. Within the next two weeks, I should have the uh, new SUV. And uh, yeah, it's going to be awesome. So thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate all of you people that uh, watch the videos. And uh, stay tuned for more off-road stuff, for more KO, for more vintage motocross, for more downhill mountain biking. It's all coming. And yeah, we're going to be grinding it out on the gravel bike uh, until then. So thanks for watching. I'll check you later.